Launch this morning on Madeira Drive in Brighton with a huge, great rainbow crossing, um, which the council happily agreed to do. And it was, um, it just feels like a real visual symbol of the first record we can change, which is about equality and um, diversity. So, yeah, it's been a busy day, just about to go out for the signing, but um, I guess it's 18 months coming to fruition this week. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited on that. So. more of a, a pop album. Um, the first album was, was different. I wrote from the point of view of a singer-songwriter writing a song on the piano or a guitar. But this time I had a clearer idea of the vibe and the feel I wanted on the overall record. And I think having been out on, on tour so much since um, album one, you realize I wanted to inject a little bit more energy as well. So there's, there's a lot more upbeat tracks on there. Um, but production-wise, it's a mile away really, because we had, you know, you always have a limited fund and we had two weeks in a studio on album one. This time we had the week in the studio with the band, but then three months. And I think when you give yourself that breathing space, you listen to the tracks, you take a weekend, you come back, you've discovered something else, you know. James Lewis, so he's worked with um, lots of fantastic people from Arctic Monkeys to Superfood who are, who are out now, but he's never done um, a complete solo artist album, if you like. He's sort of done tracks for people and he's very much um, one of the up and coming producers, so I knew he'd have a duty of care to it as much as I did in, in terms of it being really important. And um, so we worked on it and worked on it and worked on it without this sort of being a full stop until we knew it was the full stop, if you like. So um, yeah, he's, he's been fantastic. <laughs>